Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be unboxing my February box at the end of March. Um, so this box did come late because this is not my original box. Um, that is somewhere, I guess like the male person was like, I'm going to take this or it ended up somewhere else because um, the shipping information wasn't there correct. So like on their site, you have my items where you can also look up shipping codes and it was different from the email that I got sent out. Um, and both kind of had no information. So I need to reach out to customer service where I do find their website not as nice before because you are kind of like clicked around and you're like, no, like it's not an issue of like, oh, it's the day after you're supposed to ship it and my box isn't here yet. Like this is my box is probably lost somewhere and not coming. Like you either need to reship or send me a proper code. Um, where I do need customer service help. So I guess like definitely during COVID and having delays, I just find like to access their customer service from their website a little bit hard. Like I think they want you to contact and call them and I don't have time for that. Like it's much easier to like email or those like instant messages a little bit more um, to contact. Um, but I do find their Instagram works really nice. Like normally if you have a concern, um, reach out there and they will kind of ask you to DM them for, to follow up with. And I do think they follow up, um, within a reasonable amount of time to look into the issue. I just say like, don't ruin it, people. <laughs> Don't ruin this nice way of getting in contact with customer service with craziness. Like sometimes I know we all have those like outrage, but I think there's better ways than like complaining to customer service. Like think about like what's reasonable with expectations so that it's a little bit easier. Cause I know before it was definitely easier on their website to still get in touch. And I don't find that like an option right now but getting into my box excited it's here um and just kind of sharing like go through instagram if you have legitimate concerns instead of like clicking through their website and getting like this link and that link and you're like no i don't want to read that article i know what's wrong um so my first one is from ace beauty i did get their nostalgia palette at 38.99 so pretty much all my items except for one was um retailed value more than the cost of my box so that's definitely exciting um because this is 25 dollars a month um because i'm in canada i pay exchange rate and shipping so roughly i think cost me 38 dollars a month my in April, my subscription will renew and I do do annual. So I'll see how much it is. Like, I'm like, come on, Canadian dollar, get higher up. Um, but I love these colors. Like, they are bright. They are fun. Um, so I can't wait to do, like, a look with that. For some reason, I think I want to do a pineapple look. Like, I think I have a pineapple shirt, too. So... That's what I think about things in my mind. Uh, for makeup looks. So definitely not bad. I think I've tried one of their palettes before and was like, meh. So I'll try this one to see how it is. Like I find the colors really pretty. Let's hope the pigmentation is there. Um, from Tulula Skincare, I have their poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub yes this is what i wanted so i was like oh, i might get this in my box i don't know if i want to spend so i did get their um pumpkin scrub which smells so good um i haven't used it yet just sniffed it so i definitely have some blackhead issues just wearing a mask just stress like I don't know my skin right now is not happy so I'm really hoping this works great to take out some pores and junk because definitely on my chin I am someone who likes to pick at things so I need 
all those blackheads out so I can like put mittens on my hand and stop picking my face um from um tree I'm gonna say it wrong Trezik is you have their mascara and it comes with a pencil and a smudger I don't like this mascara this will I will be giving away I don't even know if I still have this torture device so like I don't curl my eyelashes this is like really like small too so I just found like I did like pinch myself with it so it is tiny I guess like we can kind of see like yeah it's gonna give you a lift so if you oh god you don't understand how much my heart was beating like I was like oh it's gonna hurt I'm gonna pinch myself and mess up because like a little bit user error so like it does work nicely so if you do like to kind of um curl your lashes like to have it all in one why not uh I'm not one of those people <laughs> It's a little terrifying, like, i rather just be like, you know what, my lashes, my lashes are just what they are. Um, and that's, so that was $44. My Tula um, scrub, which came with 82 grams, was uh, $32. So, I think it is a little bit expensive, but, like, you do have, like, the half curler, I guess they refer it to as, and then your eyeliner uh, and then smudger with it uh, is 42 and then from Glamoury um, their pink nope <laughs> I was like that's not what it is so I got a makeup brush set I need Sephora so my brushes I have in like little Sephora Beauty Insider ones, but I feel like they need to sell them or something because like people are selling them online for like 40 bucks and stuff like that. And I was like, mm, no. And like ceramic mugs can be like a little bit much. So I need things to open up so I can go like maybe to a dollar store because I'm running out of room in my brush holders. And someone might be like, well, maybe that's a sign that you don't need a whole mug of eyeshadow brushes. I'd be like, well, no. I just need more space for them. So you get a little pink case with some brushes. And they are cute. I do wish these really came Valentine's Day because like with my nephew I would totally make him just like kind of play with them because they are just fun but I definitely think I will bring me like I like it's just fun they're like lava lamps as brushes almost so they don't say kind of what they are but I don't really like almost like a smudger liner brush like an angled liner brush they do feel soft uh, tapered blending brush and then kind of like a puffy or eyeshadow brush so it works for like your shadows they are entertaining nonetheless I do think for like your little travel case, like, eh. um, but that was $28.95, um, and it is a new launch, so they are synthetic bristles. I do think they are really cute. Um, I think like yeah brushes should be cute you have them out and about why not would you pay like how much more would I pay for that maybe not that much um but you have a little kit so 
like, I don't know. Maybe like, uh, okay. Sorry, I was like, ah, uh, like I don't get this. Like, I think it's a little hard to put the brushes in, but I was like, you know what? It is plastic, so if you are putting your eyeshadow brushes into this, um, and then like they probably have eyeshadow on them so it'd be easy to like wipe out rather than a cloth one so like maybe like not so bad um maybe if they made it a little bit bigger it would be nice would be like my only kind of right because it is plastic it's that little bit hard to work with um and then when you're trying to like put them in they feel like a little squish so if they like just made it a little bit bigger i would think like yeah that's really nice um from probably gonna say it wrong sorry um Ava Little beauty is their pore perfecting primer so it's a matte moisturizer i do like that it does have like that little cap i think like when you're screwing things on and off ugh, i like making my life easier as much as possible so overall, I'm happy that I got my box. Um, I've never had really issues with their customer service um, with things. Like they're always pretty good. Um, like I don't find it hard to, like once you get in contact with them, it's not like, be realistic with your expectation of things um of like if you're like oh, i just messaged and it's an hour later like i do think seven days is my rule if long as long as i'm contacted within seven days then i think that's fine like i've messaged fat fit fun and no contact information and only looking on blogs was i like oh so I don't get basil seeds with my planter because that would have made a difference in me choosing this item um, and disclosing things. But I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm canceling FabFitFun now. But you're just kind of like, that could be like something a little bit more easily disclosed. So just with customer service, I do think BoxyCharm is really great for responding with their like at least Instagram is what I'm on. Um, so I do think like they respond nicely with that. So happy to get my box, happy with my customer service experience. So I think when dealing with box subscriptions, if they're a little bit hard to get in contact, like mistakes will happen. But if it's hard to resolve them, that would be a case where I'd be like, eh, no that's not okay but mistakes happen if they fix them then i'm fine with that so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you have a great day bye